Okay. Hello, EGG, round five. We're up against Leon and his horrible mono white, white lifelink thingamajiggers. He's apparently sent me a challenge. I do not see the challenge. see what happens there we go we're in here we go good luck and have fun Leon all the bestest so ooh, we're on the play we're going to play that is not a good hand to keep on the play that is not a great hand either but we will keep Toss the fair passage. We're gonna start attacking that life total ASAP. That's just the way it's gotta be against this deck. Healer's Hulk comes out. We've got another cat. But we're gonna make him discard for now. Yeah, could have been a Johnny, that's good. So he's running multiple planeswalkers in this deck. Let's see if he'll trade. I don't know if he will. Because he can just, you know, do the same thing to us again, love. Okay, he's got two. I'll see if Love's bounty comes in. And he goes back up to 19. Two cats, not the best start, to be perfectly honest. Um, bubble swim. Let's see if we'll trade. Keep pressure up. Okay, let's end the turn there. Been listening to the offspring just before this, so I read like offspring. Okay, if he's got Heliod, he's going to play him now. Three drop. God, what? Anyway. Let's take it as it comes. Must remember, we could play our Nightmare Shepherd, but he may have Giant Killers in hand. He's going to do the Hushbringer. That's fine. We could really use an Oven right about now. Oven would be good because then we steal the Hushbringer. Ooh. We pass on this one. <clears throat> We're going to take two in the air next time and he'll gain a life, depending on what else he plays. If he plays a Heliod, things start to go very badly wrong for us. Or a Gideon Black Lad. I mean, you know, <laughs> either of those are a problem. <laughs> ah, really? Nice. Indestructible with Life Link. Okay, we, we're going to get nailed. Okay, well, we're blocked there. Okay, so that's a good thing for us. That's good. All right, so what we will do is he's all tapped out. So,
Okay, that worked out for us. Happy with that. All depends on what he plays next. Linden, okay, he's gonna gain some life here. But imagine indestructible, indestructible flying dude. Okay, I am going to block the horse with the shepherd. Leave Gideon alone for now. Uh, okay, we're gonna go into full control. And we're gonna say next. And next. We're gonna take out Gideon. Because Gideon is a pain. And then we'll play Proxa. And we will. Force our opponent to discard. We're going to make him discard both cards because we're going to crops it twice using the Nightmare Shepherd trigger. Not the cat. I can't see which one it's targeting. That's, that's a bit of a problem. Ah, damn it. Okay, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. Darn it. Really wasn't what I had in mind. <sighs> and there's the Heliod. Every time you gain life, one one counter. So that's something we'll have to deal with. Just block there. Okay, that would have been nice to have moments ago. I need to get rid of this creature. It's way to turn. We can probably do it next turn unless he plays somebody else. Then we're sort of back to square one again. But it's okay. How many we got in here? Four, including two Croxes. So we can't bring Crocs online yet. Let's see what Leon does. Okay, he's going to attack, which means he's going to gain some life. We're going to have to take this hit. It's a big hit. I'm not going to block this. I do want to play something else onto the board next turn. You can pass the damage. Ow! Has he got something to play after this? No. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do... We're going to have to pay the two life for it. We're going to drop an axe. Swing for four. And 
do this. Yeah. Gives us that one. Let's bring him back as well. Next turn we'll steal Linden. Oh no, we can't because <laughs> that's in there. So that doesn't help us, but we are going to do this. That was a good round for us. It was a good turn for us. Let's see what he's got. Okay, good game. GG, GG. The deck works. I'm I'm hesitant to change it. But if he does get Heliods out and things like that, it does become a problem. Um This is great. <laughs> it's the first time in any of these matches I've said that about Alex. This really saved our bacon on that one. I think maybe we'll drop one of those and drop a cat. We're going to bring in two of the black beetles. I don't want to change too much. It really did work. So let's just keep it like that. <clears throat> Let's just keep it like that. Okay, he's probably brought in Apostle of Purifying Light simply because of the the uh, the protection from black. Possibly Elspeth Sun's Nemesis. Oh, that's heavy. That's very heavy. It's not fast enough. No, we're gonna money. That's better. We we'll keep that. We will we'll toss a mountain. Okay. Hush bringer, that's perfect. Get the discard going. Basically, got to do that. Um,
plays a glass casket or something now, he's going to steal our crocs, and that's a problem. So that's fine, you can do that. What we'll do in the meantime is... That. Yeah, so he'll block. You still got a discard card. Let's play the cat out now anyway. Don't worry about the Hushbringer vibes. I want to put people on the board just in case he does do something horrible like steal our Croxa or casket our Croxa or anything to our Croxa. <laughs> just lands. I'm not worried about lands. Okay. Come on in. The water's fine. Alright, there we go. So that deals with that which deals with that and that's a good game yeah the deck came out like a freaking rocket that was uh, brutal Sorry about that, Leon, but that is kind of how the deck's supposed to work. Although I've never had Crocs come out so early before your Hushbringer did it in for you. But thanks for the games, man. Good luck with the rest of them. Uh, and uh, as always, support your local gaming stores. Go down there, buy some paper cards. Arena's fun, but there's nothing like holding cards in your hand. So get out there, buy some paper magic. Play some paper magic. Friday night magic, tomorrow night, Friday night. Uh, go do the things you need to do. Keep this game alive. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.